Is this capitulation that we saw in stocks yesterday the start of something broader, do you think? Uh, in terms of the bounce back yesterday? In terms of the bounce back, yeah. yeah. So I, I think when I look at valuations that there's some really attractive opportunities today in both the Asia market as well as Hong Kong. Um, and the, the question is, you know, where does sentiment go? Because in the short term, the stock market is, is merely a voting machine uh, reflecting sentiment rather than the, the underlying fundamentals. Um, so I think there is a good chance that, that we are getting close to the bottom here. Um, and, and you know, for, as a value investor, there, there's some wonderful opportunities out there. OK, well, what are some of those? What do you suspect will lead the market higher than if we are close to the bottom in Chinese equities? Sure. So uh, I, I always look at the, sort of the services sector, the consumer sector, um, you know, the, the sectors that, are, that really do have this structural tailwind that the government does want to see grow over the next 10, 20 years. Um, so as I mentioned, we've been buying into the technology space, uh, a lot of those uh, large cap stocks are listed in the US like Alibaba and Baidu. Uh, we also seeing some really attractive opportunities in the H share market where you can buy into um, companies like China Life which is trading at a 40-50% discount uh, on the H share market to the A shares. Uh, again good structural tailwinds in terms of life insurance being underpenetrated in China. Um, and then in the consumer space you're able to pick up some really undervalued consumer stocks at the moment. So we re recently bought into WH Group, um, which is a, a leading packaged uh, food company and pork producer in, in China and the US. Those type of names, though, have been, I guess, at front and centre when it comes to all of the trade war rhetoric that's been around. That doesn't concern you? Uh, no, not really. I mean, what we, do you see the sell down in those stocks as a result of that is now an opportunity to well, get in? Yeah, that's right. I mean, the, the way that we see the, the trade war, is, as Jack Ma said, um, at the Alibaba Investor Day, this is going to be an ongoing uh, issue for the next 20 years and, and, and it's just posturing between the number one and number two economies. Um, and in reality, you've just got to look at what's driving the underlying economies. Um, you know, if, if you think that GDP per capita in, in China will continue to grow um, and you do have this sort of underlying uh, force which, you know, will see uh, the middle class uh, grow and, and increase their wealth over time, uh, then you will see particular sectors, in, in, certainly the, the services, consumer, healthcare, technology space continue to grow. So if you can buy these stocks now and there's all this fear around the trade wars, um, that means you just get to buy you know, the same business at, at a much cheaper price than you, what you were buying about two, three months ago. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.